So this is the Yamaha Tri-City 300. Some people will call it a Tristy 300. Tri-City, I think it's Tri-City to go with the wheels. And there are two wheels on the front together with this quite complicated parallelogram arrangement. Um, it's quite a hefty beast, as you can see, Winky Cater's on the front. But the instrumentation is fairly simple and straightforward. That's the start button. This button down here gets you through the menus. This is for your hazard warnings. Uh, it's keyless, so we've got this little job here to open, close and get into your seat and raise your fuel lid. Fuel's filled in there. It's about 180 miles range, which is more or less all you want. TFT screen, black and white only, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Um, on this side, this is the important button. This is what locks it, well not locks it, holds it more or less upright. Uh, when you come into land, you click that in and it'll, it'll keep it more or less upright. It doesn't lock it though. Then at the top, your lights, main beam and dip beam and pass. Indicators are here. Left, oh, sorry, right, left, cancel. Then you've got your horn just there. And that's really it. The only other thing is a handbrake. And there is, on this other side, a foot brake. Although it's not easy to see, not fantastically easy to get your foot on. I've ridden it and I've got to say it's very easy to ride. Very, very easy to ride. I really rather like it. My darling wife is about to join me. I'm down in one of our local parks. Not too many people around. And uh, she's gonna have a look at it and see what she thinks. Let's see where we go from there. So there you have it, that's the Yamaha Tri-City 300. Um, in terms of a, a tool for somebody with a motorhome, assuming you don't mind trailing it on uh, a transverse trailer, I suspect it's going to be a godsend of a tool. Um, you can park it just about anywhere and it handles really, really nicely. If you've ridden a push bike or a motorbike or a scooter if you've ridden anything on two wheels you'll find this very very simple to ride um, indeed when I set away uh, to go on this first ride this morning um, I was going for the foot brake because it just felt like an automatic car it's only when you come to the corners and lean that you think oh this is different um, I'm here to tell you that the front end on this is enormously well planted. Uh, those two wheels side by side as you're going round corners and bends give you such a massive feeling of confidence in the whole thing. It just goes round like it's on rails. Um, I took a roundabout earlier on today and came off it, happened to look at the speedo as I came off the roundabout and I thought, that's good. Um, is it a, a speed machine? No, it's not. Uh, there's a top speed quoted that's in excess of 80 miles an hour, but trust me when I tell you, it'll take you half an hour to get there. And it'll not take much for it to blow you back slower. It will still, though, be the fastest thing away from the lights, which is what you want when you're riding something like this. 
Are there any caveats for it? There are one or two. Firstly, I would strongly suggest if you consider getting one of these to ride because you don't have a bike license and you want something that's going to be easy to park, easy to manoeuvre and easy to get around on, that you take some training and most motorcycle training schools around the country will help you out with that. It's very simple, a couple of hours and you'll be fine. And that's really all about your observations, knowing what's going on around you because these are not as easy to see as a motorhome. Because they're smaller. Yeah, that's from the school of the blindingly obvious, isn't it? Um, in terms of carrying two up, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, if, you, if you've got two 10, 12 stone people on here, so you're looking at 20, 22 stone, uh, it's not going to be a problem. It will carry you very nicely, thank you. Ask me how I know. Yeah, um, top and bottom of it is, I can't wait to get the tow bar fitted to our better car 584 uh, and get the transverse trailer, get this thing loaded up and get off and uh, start enjoying being able to travel away from wherever it is we stop to get fish and chips, to go and have a look at things, to do whatever. Um, the next step is to get Jill trained. Uh, that's going to happen very soon and then We'll, uh, we'll know how she feels about it. And I shall hopefully be able to get some video of her training, learning how to ride this and get what her views are on it. Uh, so there you go. I hope you found this little look at uh, the Tri-City 300 useful. If you have, then that's great. If you haven't, if there's more that you need to know, please do ask in the comments down below and uh, I'll do my best to give you the information that you need, require, want and desire. So until I see you next time, enjoy the roads, whether it's in the van or your tri 300, enjoy the skies, but most of all, enjoy your lives. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.